It was kind of an awkward cutoff last episode, I guess. It was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. I just happened to be right at 15 minutes, so I decided to cut the episode there. Aqua Cave, you know, that's not a very creative name, you know? It's as creative as me saying, you know, twice within, like, four words of each other. How is it darker in here? Oh, okay. I wasn't asking for your approval. I'm glad to know I have it. For some reason, I thought it would be lighter in here. Because I forgot it was open to the air. that That's the weird thing. Like, well, yeah, it's open to the sky. It's not that much of a cave. Are you... I keep seeing big eyes where I thought I used to see sardines. Maybe I just saw big eyes everywhere and thought they were sardines or misremembered them that way. Might as well learn about you. I want to say there might have been more in here. Time of day might matter too, but I don't know. I don't know how many fish actually just don't appear during certain times of day. The thing is, I don't believe the description for these guys said anything about appearing at particular times of day or not. So I figure that should imply they appear at any time of day. Yes, this one actually says something about them coming out at night. Imagine I've learned plenty about you guys. No, actually. I see them so often that I never bother touching them again. Not particularly after. Active, jeez. I am still clinging to the theory that sardines are just extinct. No more spicy fish in a can, they're gone. We ate all of them. I don't know who, because I don't know who actually likes those things. But someone did it. That doesn't look like a place to go to get out of here. I thought the entrance was fairly mid-level. Like that. Yeah, it could be a day and night type of thing, I don't know. I feel like it tends to be night when I'm looking for these guys. Which may not be for the better. I'm really not certain. I know there has to be light somewhere, but I, it feels silly to me that this supposed cave, like there are more cavey portions of it, I guess, but like most of it is open to the air. At that point, they're just like interconnected ponds. Which is kind of weird in its own right. Not gonna see anyone. I expected on the way back. I guess not. I saw those guys somewhere. I just don't remember where. It also doesn't seem like the game world usually changes that much from one trip to the other. Like I always see this one shark here, for instance. I think. I have a feeling that lately I would have it repeating words in strange ways. I don't know why that is. I guess it's kind of a coping mechanism for trying to play a game and 
otherwise be distracted while I speak simultaneously, being kind of on autopilot as I speak. I have words that just kind of get produced automatically, which is why I sometimes say, accidentally say something totally nonsensical and then have to correct myself, because I'm going on autopilot like that. There's some penguins. I already went from one end of where I'm allowed to be to the other. It's kind of weird just how short your range is. Eh, I say that. I start at the center more like of the region I was allowed in. Because the boat's right up against the, the cave. Okay, though. Still no sardines. The great sardine extinction. Where were you when the sardines disappeared? Yeah, you're not sardines. Stop it. I wonder if sardines are spindle shaped. I forgot what they even look like. It's been so long. Ancestor reef. Maybe maybe the maybe these are ancestors to the sardines. It's well known that all Japanese fish are related by blood, of course. Descendants of Izanami and Izanagi. So says the legend. Ah! Well, I guess that's it then. I tried. Again, it might matter too if it's day or night, I really don't know. Some things at least do change with day or night, like sharks being out and whatnot. Not that you won't be able to find them, but they're more prominent, I guess, during the... During the night, at least. Do deep sea fish, I wonder, have any concept of day and night if the sun doesn't even reach down there? I guess some wavelengths of light might make their way down there. Just not visible light. So they might be able to, like, I don't know, somewhere or another feel that it's day or night time. If they can sense that. Mail! Hello, sun. Can I help you? Pelican. It was a pretty cool brand. I see that having only known one thing they made, the code breaker for the PS2. I like how every kind of bird just does the same thing whenever they're happy in this game. Oh man, we're getting cross references here. Low fat content. Oh, jeez. Everyone's here. I wonder if this has to do with has to do with us being later in the game or not. And seeing new creatures here, because we've been here before. Blizzard seems just wonderful. Okay. I'm just holding a party up here. But I have mail to tend to. Cool, but like, <laughs> could you give me stuff for this? <laughs> I feel I need an incentive. I'm not getting paid. Oh. I guess it's time to actually progress the plot. Unless I try to be really stubborn and go back to Rock Pup. Uh, it 
It's still nighttime either way. I should just go to the comb. Ah, where's the pointer? These guys get weirded out at all by the whole like you're suddenly in a different part of the the ocean thing. I don't think I can Yeah, I can't learn more about them by going back after moving. Alright, let's actually get something done then. In that case, just putting down the sensor. I do appreciate that the game changes up what you're doing a little bit towards the later parts. I do like that you have a little bit more time to kind of explore the world after you've had a chance to fill out the entire map. And we're, we're going to places that we haven't been before, too. Not always, like there is the one sensor that we had to put on the edge of the crevice, but for instance, where we found that one big whale. In fact, we had to go right back there after we first went there, the big drop off. Uh, you can't really see here. Well, yeah, the great drop off right there in the west. Like where we're going right now, for instance, the comb. I like how you can just go upside down. Freedom of movement. I've done this on the same trip as the drop off I had. She told me about it. Goldie. I'm curious how I rub an entire school of fish simultaneously. I imagine just like coming in and giving like a big hug. Like, I know I can't see anything right now, but so what? I, I guess we need to actually check their readings as we're putting them as we're play, putting them down or something? I don't know. In that case, and there's nothing else to do unless I want to do something silly like going back to Rock Bluff, which I'm half tempted to do in search of sardines. I can double check the encyclopedia to make sure that's the case. I'm pretty certain that's what it had said. Why didn't you tell you before I had to do it during the day? And what's the point? Like, I can just skip today. And then do the same thing. It seems kind of arbitrary. Whatever. Mail? No. Well, it's day now, incidentally. Anyone fun up here? Just to see a wiped out on the on the deck. From whatever went on the night before while I wasn't here. Okay, well we have 60 seconds to one check where these appear, these sardines, to confirm, and then, this looks dark in here, and then actually find them. Oh, so now it's daytime, it wasn't before actually. I think we can do it. We're making good pace. We have 40 seconds left. See sardine. Shark rock buff during the winter. That's the one thing. They name a particular season, and there's nothing I can do about what season it is, to my knowledge. This just has near. I wonder if that could mean, like, even in the more western sections that aren't labeled anything. Okay, we have 15 seconds. Five. We're almost there. I'm 
You might be off by a bit. 